Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Colin. This is Colin about vlogs. First and foremost, I just want to thank everybody who's recently subscribed. It's been awesome. We're over a thousand one hundred people right now. That is amazing. Thank you so much. Anyways, today's video is about diets and why they don't really work. I, I know it's taboo, but let's get into it just a little bit. Diets always make you feel like you're in a rut, almost uh, in a revolving door, and there's a reason for it. The number one reason for that is well, companies need to make money, and the best way to make money is to create what's called the yo-yo effect. Put it this way, if diets were working the way they wanted them to, you wouldn't be stuck going on to another diet every single time, right? You would have one diet and be done with it. They're there for a quick fix, and companies know that, the revolving door, the cycle continues. And diets are also restrictive. Uh, eat a small amount of this food or this food, completely cut it out. That's because again, they're designed to make you fail. Simple, right? The other part to this, which is number three, is that they're unrealistic goals, right? They're unsustainable. They're not meant for long term. They're therefore, I'm going on holiday next month, quick fix. They play with the mental health. It's, it's a very well put together, if you know what I'm saying. Whatever company it is that's going for it, will figure out something to play with your mental health a little bit. They'll create that, yeah, I got it. So I call it the gotcha mode. That meaning that you got what you wanted, but now the weight's starting to pack on because it's so unrealistic. You, you can't keep it up long term. Four main points there. Companies need to make money. They're restrictive. <laughs> they're unrealistic. They're unsustainable. And the last one is they ignore your mental health. So that's the four parts there. On that note, if you're enjoying this content and you're new here, feel free to like, subscribe, maybe ring the bell, leave a comment below and let me know what diets you've been on that haven't been very helpful. So our top three that I find that works the best for long term as well as a life change, right? Focus on whole foods. So focus on foods that are going to fuel your body for longer instead of creating that crash effect, right? So avoiding uh, ultra processed foods or as we said before, the standard American diet, the sad crap, right? Calorie rich and absolutely processed. Avoid that as much as you can. So focus on the whole foods part. Now, the second part to this is find a lifestyle that fits you. Getting out more often and finding some sort of lifestyle that you're more habitable. So creating healthier habits. Focus on cooking meals at home instead of ultra processed foods. Like that, okay. And the last number three, if you need to seek out professional help, go to a gym, talk to a dietitian. I did, it worked great. Found some YouTubers that I prefer to watch over some other YouTubers because they fit better with how I live, if that makes sense. So I'm a very sustainable person when it comes to food. I look at whole foods, I avoid as much as possible highly processed foods and stick with a whole food plant-based diet or veganism. But that's the three tips. Remember, weight loss is a journey, not a race. Ditch the quick fix diets, look for healthier habits, avoid bad habits, you should be okay. If you want, you can leave comments down below on anything that you want questions for. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Also, the Patreon link will be in the description. I do have a workout at home plan for you. It's a four weeks. It's there, it helps, it's working for me, it's working with the kids, it's fun. It's not heavily intense. This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel like it, like and subscribe, comment, ring the bell. Have a great day, guys. Until next time, see you later. Bye for now. Focus on foods that are going to fuel you. Ugh. Focus on foods that are going to fuel you longer. That was a tongue twister. Focus on fuel. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, start that one again. <laughs>